Hey guys, how are you? Alexan here from the Sartoral Armenian, and today we're talking about the best fabrics that you can pick out for your spring and summer wardrobe this season. Alright guys, so spring is here and summer is just around the corner and today I want to talk to you about the different fabrics that are both comfortable and breathable for the season. But before we talk about fabrics, the first thing we need to talk about is the weights of fabrics. So in suiting there's like three categories that we like to talk about and the first is four seasons. Now four seasons are good to wear in the cooler months and the warmer months. Then you have your spring summer, then you have your fall and winter fabrics as well. So the first one I want to talk about today is Four Seasons. Now Four Seasons is heavy enough to wear in the winter but also cool enough to wear on summer days um, during the summer. And these fabrics usually range between 9 to 12 ounces or 280 to 360 grams. Now when we talk about spring uh, spring and summer uh, fabric and summer suits, those usually range between 6.5 to 8.5 ounces or 280 to 360 grams. Now these are ideal for maximum breathability. Now the last category is those fall and autumn suits. So those are about 12 and a half to 19 ounces and 360 to 570 grams. And these are, as I said, usually reserved for kind of fall and winter temperatures. And the reason for that is, you know, these are heavy garments to keep you warm. So whether it's a big, you know, kind of a Harris tweed jacket and pants, right? Or you're wearing a big overcoat, that's what these fabrics would be made out of so that they can keep you warm in the winter. So now that we've talked about weights, let's start the countdown and let's go through my top five fabrics for spring and summer that you should consider. All right, so number one on the list, and these are in no particular order, but number one is the King of Wrinkles, also known as linen. Linen is a great fabric because it allows for maximum breathability and it has this very distinguished look due to its wrinkling nature. Now, linen, a lot of people are a little hesitant about, and that's because it does actually wrinkle. But this effect is kind of an acquired taste that leads to a bit of a sartorial character, and uh, the effect that it leaves is, is a very timeless look and desired by a lot of men um, when wearing a linen. Now, the one note that I want to say is that if you're wearing linen, you want to make sure that the garment, whether it's pants, whether it's a, a jacket, you want to make sure that it fits properly, because if it doesn't fit properly, then when uh, linen actually does wrinkle, it'll look like it, you just kind of took it out of the hamper versus a very nice, neat, wrinkle looking uh, characteristic. You can see here what linen looks like and you know how people are styling linen. Um, I personally think it's a great fabric to wear during the summer months, especially if it's very warm out. Pairing it with a very light cotton dress shirt, um, tie, no tie, doesn't matter, but linen pants, linen jacket, it's a great look to go out. Next on the list I want to talk about is Seersucker. So now Seersucker is a fabric made from cotton. It's known for its striped patterns as well as its raised textures. So you've probably seen Seersucker in TV shows or such as Boardwalk Empire or even at the Kentucky Derby. It's a great um, fabric for the season, especially because it's lightweight, it breathes well, it's easy to maintain and clean, um, and it's uh, fundamentally different than the care that you would have for your regular woolen suits or your uh, linen suits. So now the name Seersucker is actually synonymous with a company called Haskell, who in 1909 actually created the first Seersucker suit, and they've been doing so ever since then. Next on the list, thing is we just talked about Seersucker, is cotton. Now, cotton, it's lightweight, it's breathable. However, the only downside with cotton is that it does absorb moisture. So if you're naturally somebody who uh, perspires a lot, especially on warmer days, cotton may not be the best thing for you. I know we wear cotton dress shirts, but if you're gonna wear a cotton suit as well, um, it may not be the best idea. All right, so next on the list is a fabric called chambray. Now chambray is a special weave of a cotton fabric that resembles the look of denim, but it doesn't have the added weight that denim does. It's a tighter weave, but it still allows for breathability um, for those hot days. And now lastly on the list, we talk about wool. And wool comes in many different weaves and weights, and I suggest a lightweight wool, such as uh, a hop sack. And hop sack is another type of an open weave. This has a basket weave type of construction. And this allows for maximum airflow. So if you look at a, a swatch of hop sack, you can actually see that light passes through it. So think about that when you're wearing it, right? Wind comes in, it's gonna cool you off and it's gonna make it a lot easier um, for, for you to kind of be cool 
comfortable and comfortable in a garment like that. Another wolf type of lightweight fabric is called Fresco, and Fresco is a um, another lightweight type of weave. According to Sven at the Gentleman's Gazette, I'll link his channel down below. He's got some great information on Fresco. Um, but Fresco wool is created with multiple yarns of high twisted wool. And what that allows is it turns into a plain weave, but the high twist allows for an open weave, um, which makes this a great fabric for the summer, allowing for maximum breathability again. The last one I have here about wool and kind of the open weaves um, is Solaro. So Solaro is a type of suit known for its iridescent shine. It's worn by the likes of Mr. Gianni Agnelli, um, CEO of Fiat, and also one of the most well-dressed men in the world. This medium weight fabric is ideal for hot summer days. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our page at the Sartoral Armenian, as well as follow us on Instagram at the Sartoral Armenians. Thank you.